Hey, what's going on? I am Almost Animations, and welcome to another story time. Okay, so maybe I haven't actually done a story time in a while, but this is one, okay? So gather round, baby buds, while Papa Jordan regurgitates some story time animation all over your faces. This story took place around Halloween, so I'll be telling you a bit of a darker tale. I came home, took a spooky shower, ate a ghostly meal, went to my terrifyingly messy room, and watched horrible YouTube videos until I realized that they were my YouTube videos. <laughs> As I was relaxing in my room, I was disturbed by a horrific voice. It was, it was m my mom. There's a dead cat in the backyard. What? There's a dead cat in the backyard! Was it me? Wait a second, what color is it? It's black! Yeah, it definitely wasn't me. So I go outside, and yeah, there's a dead cat in the backyard. Great, I have to deal with this now. Could anyone else be having a worse day than me right now? Well, I mean, I guess the cat's day is worse than mine. I grab a shovel from the shed, turn around, and he's gone. Oh, there he is. I just had to look slightly to the left. So I start to dig a cat-sized hole to bury the poor thing. And the entire time I'm doing this, my neighbor's cat is staring at me through the window. I go to pick up the cat and I'm not gonna lie, for some reason I kept thinking he was just pretending to be asleep. So when I picked him up, he would like wake up and assault me with his lethal claws. I finally got brave and picked him up with a plastic bag and placed the cat in the hole. My mom came out and yelled over to me. I'm leaving now! Okay, bye. As I'm burying it, my neighbor's cat is still staring at me, as if to say, I know what you did. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. I know it was you. I was at work all day, and when I got home, I went straight to my room. You can't hide from the truth. I didn't even know the cat was out here until my mom told me. I believe that. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you really believed. I believe that's something a murderer would say. So I finished the burial. I had like a small ceremony for the cat. Not very many showed up, so I figured he must have been kind of a jerk. I put a little rock in his grave because I think I saw that in a movie once. I go to open the door to go back into my room of solitude. What the frickity frick? My evil mother. The person responsible for me being outside in the first place locked me out of the house. I tried every door and every window, but of course, they were all locked. I knew my sister had a spare key, so I ran over to her house, which is only like five minutes away. She wasn't home. So I go back and ask my neighbor if he wants to help me break into my house. We tried to get in for like 15 minutes. Understandably, he gives up. So now I'm on my own with a crowbar that I borrowed. As I'm trying to pry open one of the windows just enough to undo the latch, I notice it keeps getting darker outside. All of a sudden, it starts to pour down rain. And I don't mean a light sprinkle or even a moderate shower. I mean it poured. The whole situation reminded me of what happens in a movie when someone says, well, at least it can't get any worse. I didn't even say that. I was completely soaked in a matter of seconds. At this point, I am working even harder to pry open the window. In my rush, I end up making a big crack all the way down the window. It's a good thing no one was there because I was pretty mad at this point. I was shouting at no one and using some very colorful language. I decided to run back over to my sister's to see if she was home. She was! And she had the much coveted spare key. I was finally able to return to my humble little living space. After I dried off and changed my clothes, I was still pretty mad by the time my mom got home but I told her this would probably make a good story one day. That or give me nightmares for the rest of my life. If you have a similar story about getting locked out, feel free to tell me about it in the comments. I am Almost Animations, and thanks for being you. Unless you're the kind of person that, I don't know, maybe locks your son out of the house during a rainstorm. Mom!